I'm not known for the cleanest or most minimal setups. It's function over form all the way for me, and I'm someone who needs a lot of function. But what if I truly needed to fit into a smaller space? Could I make that setup work? What if I had a much smaller bedroom growing up or moved into a dorm or something? I set out to accomplish what would basically be my college gaming, multimedia, and YouTubing setup if I needed to stick to a much smaller space hooked up all with one cable, sorta. Of. Let's take a look right after a word from our sponsor and whatnot, you know the drill. Are you tired of your streams or voice chats sounding like this? Do you want the comfort and quality of high-end headphones without sacrificing microphone quality? Antline's ModMic 5 is the perfect solution. Their dual capsule microphone attaches easily and securely to your existing headphones and fits within any setup thanks to the modular cable system. It comes with a cable wrap to protect your wires, an optional inline mute switch, and sounds a little something like this. Check the link in the video description to learn more. I'm Ebos Vox here to make tech easier and more fun. Before we jump in, I do need to disclose a couple things. Most of what you see here was provided for free for review. I bought a couple things and built the desk myself, but not the majority of the setup. And the laptop itself is part of a sponsored campaign from Intel. But this is an individual video with no one seeing it before it goes up except for Patreon subs or anything like that. No one paid to specifically show anything in this video. So with this, I wound up with three main objectives I wanted to focus on keeping the setup as small as possible, confining it to my four foot by two and a half foot B-roll table in my studio. I also wanted it to be a sit-stand desk setup as I've never used one before. Lastly, I wanted to take full advantage of my Thunderbolt 3 bearing laptop and have everything connect with just a single Thunderbolt 3 cable. Lofty goals, but I think it turned out all right. And before I get the obligatory comment about it, no, it's not minimalistic. I still stuck to my guns and focused on function first. Plus, for me, in this kind of setup, modularity would be important, and you want to keep an eye on those cables while raising and lowering the sit-stand surface anyway. For that, we have the M2B from FlexiSpot. This converts your standard desk or table to a sit-stand setup with a tablet holder and keyboard tray. It can hold up to 35 pounds and was perfect for this scenario. Getting it onto the table was fun, it was hella difficult to unbox and weighs a ton, but it doesn't budge or slide around on the table or anything like that. The surface itself though is very, very slippery and prone to scratching. My, my biggest complaint about it. But it's super sturdy and easy to use. Simply grip the levers on both sides and raise and lower as desired. It's easy to move without feeling like it's going to fall and lets you lock it into just about any position. It's no up desk, but it's pretty nice. Next up is the centerpiece, my EVGA SC15 gaming laptop. This beauty features an Intel Core i7-7700HQ, an NVIDIA GTX 1060, and a G-Sync 120Hz 1080p IPS display. Perfect for gaming and editing, and if you can handle the weight, it can go with you to class. It does get pretty loud though to cool all of that beefy hardware. This laptop has a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port on it, despite the disappointing market of unoriginal Here's a few USB ports and a LAN port, Thunderbolt 3 docks. The idea to make this a one cable setup was born here. I hit up CalDigit and got their Thunderbolt Station 3 dock in. This little box adds three USB 3.1 Type A ports, Gigabit Ethernet, two eSATA ports, didn't really know anyone so used that, Thunderbolt pass through, and a full size display port hookup, along with 3.5mm audio in and out jacks. This will support a 5K monitor or two 4K monitors using the Thunderbolt Out and DisplayPort port and really expands functionality. To be honest though, for my needs, I would have preferred a couple more USB ports and maybe an SD card reader on the front instead of those eSATA ports, but hey. So the TS3 dock runs to wall power to this giant 24 outlet power bar that serves as my main studio charging station, and I began hooking things up to it. We've got my WASD custom V2 keyboard with MX Blue switches, the ASUS Impresario Blu-ray drive and DAC, as well as the Logitech Brio webcam and the Elgato Stream Deck. I feel this is a good balance of products to provide a solid multimedia and gaming experience. A pair of AKG M220 headphones run to the ASUS DAC for high quality output, and 
7.1 virtual surround support if you want that. The suspension style band and soft ear pads are perfect for long gaming or movie watching sessions via the Blu-ray drive. The audio in port of the CalDigit dock is occupied by the Aokio, Oak, Aokio AK80 microphone mounted on a super basic desk arm. This is Aokio's variant on the BM800 microphone and is a $24 condenser mic to get some decent vocals for YouTubing or streaming. Much better than the microphone I started YouTube with that costs much more than this one. It includes a basic windscreen, shock mount, and XLR to 3.5mm cable in the box. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Come on now. Oh, you missed the bl Oh, no, you didn't miss the block. Okay, fair enough. The mic arm is mounted directly to the sit-stand desk, so it raises and lowers with the desk and can be adjusted out of your way as needed. The Brio webcam is mounted on a Max Trim tripod up above the laptop. Also mounted is a tiny Aperture ALM9 LED light that will help light your face to make your face cam look a little better and keep that Brio at a smooth 60 FPS. I have this set up in front of a window, so during the day you could just open the blinds for some nice face cam lighting too. You can actually get diffusion materials specifically for windows as well. Now, I was going to use the Elgato Cam Link here with a cheap action camera via HDMI to set up the face cam, but neither the Cam Link, my Avermedia Extreme Cap UV UVC, nor the Magewell dongle would work through this CalDigit dock. It has more than enough bandwidth, so I'm really not sure what the problem is. Drivers would install, but I'd never get more than a black screen unless the devices were plugged directly into the laptop. So you could still set that up for better face cam, but it would break the one cable rule here. I simply ran the Brio with a USB-C to C cable into the second Thunderbolt port on the dock and we're back in business. The webcam and light are on a cheap Mactrim tripod that can be adjusted to angle at you based on your sit-stand configuration at the time. Behind the setup, we have a curveball of an awesome setup piece, the Elgato green screen. Since this setup is focused on being compact and modular, I thought this was a perfect fit. The Elgato green screen collapses into a low-profile case that can be stored in closets, under beds, or under couches, but extends to a full chroma key backdrop in a matter of seconds. Perfect for a small space stream setup. For a mouse, I just have the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S connected via Bluetooth. This isn't the best for gaming, but it's great to work on the go and for general productivity. You could introduce a wired gaming mouse for this setup, but that would require another USB port, so that would require a USB hub on the dock or plugging it into the laptop directly. Unless you got a gaming keyboard with a USB port on it, which some of them have. That is an option, I guess. The Elgato Stream Deck provides a great control tool for streaming and recording, and the included stand makes it easy to adjust height based on your sitting or standing position. Lastly, I also have the original of what was supposed to be the limited edition Razer metal headphone stand to hold our cans, and my favorite Portal 2 coaster to hold your beverage of choice. The obligatory tech YouTuber fake plant adds some color to the left, and I have a basic Boston Harbor desk lamp with some colored light to add a little flair to the setup as well. If you plan on streaming with this setup, you would probably want a second monitor or tablet or something to monitor Twitch chat or your OBS window or what have you. If this setup was against a wall instead of a window, you could wall mount a monitor and run it to the video output on the dock. That way it's all there ready to go when you dock the laptop. Or you could just ditch the tripod and put the monitor on the desk and then clamp the webcam to the monitor. That could work as well. However, I do have to admit that this isn't technically a single cable setup despite all of my efforts. You see, the EVGA SC15 is a beastly laptop and requires a very hefty power supply. It does not support charging over USB Type-C. So while literally everything else it plugs in with the single Thunderbolt 3 cable, running the power brick on its own is still necessary. However, if you have a lighter laptop like the MacBooks or a similar USB-C charging computer, the dock will charge the computer as well, and then it will truly be one cable. One thing that I did like was that even when lowered all the way flush with the desk, there's still enough room under the sit-stand desk for all of the power bricks to comfortably rest out of the way without dropping them to the floor. Very nice and does help a little bit with cable management and not straining the cables and things like that. So this is it. Nothing too flary, but a functional and effective setup that my younger self would have been proud of. Would you use a setup like this? What would you do differently? Comment below. Otherwise, drop kick that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I will see you 
in the next one. Epos Vox is a Patreon supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other benefits, go to patreon.com slash eposvox to learn more.